Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to Fabulous Friday. And actually, today is Flappy Fabulous Friday. Try saying that three times fast. So we did some work with waterfalls, and I'll put that link in the description box. But, you know, you can also do some other things with waterfalls and with washi. And I thought, I'm going to do... I'm working on a purple journal, purple and pink. And I decided that I wanted to try and do a couple of flips. This is only one page out of the signature. And I'm trying to get my washi started. I just saw a great meme about this, that half your life is spent trying to get the washi started. There we go. And so for this, I just have one of the pages of my signature. And I have some washi tape. If you want to craft along with me, go ahead and grab your washi tape. And just some scraps of paper. I am not doing a lot with this. I am just making some flaps on this Flappy Friday. Flappy Fabulous Friday. I wonder how many more Fs we can manage to put into a Fabulous Friday. We have Fabulous Fun Fold Friday coming up. That's always the last one of the month. Okay, now I was going to put these all in a row and then I decided I would stagger them. So I'm going to put this down here. What I like about the washi is that I can see right through it. And I'm going to go ahead and cut off that top edge because it made a mess when I tried to get it restarted. And I'll put that on my washi, my, I have two of these going at the moment. I don't know why, just because. And then I'm going to stagger this one. I'm st <laughs> Excuse me. Always start from the bottom. That's a, that's a key. If you start from the bottom, it makes it easier to stack them. Now, could you start from the top? Absolutely. Why not? But when you start from the top, you're going to have a different configuration. Maybe we'll do that with the next one. Ah, dropping my washi. Because there are a couple different ways you can do this. And we're going to take a look at at least two different ways to stagger or to layer your flaps. And like I said, this is really kind of a modified waterfall. And if you notice that in the waterfall that I did before, and I, again, I'll link to that below. I have to turn it sideways. It's just easier for me to see this for some reason when I do it sideways. I'm going to line it up. What's nice about washi is that you could pick it up and set it down again. You know what? We're going to do it this way. Let's get the washi on it first. No, nope, I keep missing. I keep missing my ends. That's probably why people use tweezers. There we go. Now I like it. Okay. I'll cut off that extra end. Stick that on my paper, which is up here. And now I can line this up nice and easily. The paper I'm using is just scrap paper. This is These are leftover digitals from something that I was working on before. I put that too far over. Can I do it? Yeah, I can still move it. I don't want it quite so far over. There we go. Now, you may notice I'm not putting anything on the inside here. That's for a reason. I normally do if I'm doing flaps that are to be permanent, but I don't want these flaps to necessarily be permanent flaps. I would like these to be able to be lifted off and removed so that the person who gets this journal or who, who is using it can remove these pages and use them as they see fit. So we're flapping this one right on here. And I like to do this before I sew them in um, so that if I need to, if my washi goes over, it gets part of the, the piece. So there I have a flap and a flap 
and a flap. So writing space here, writing space here. Now to decorate this page up a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead, flip my flaps back for a minute, and just put this piece. So obviously this is a purple journal that I am currently working on. I have had this in my head to do for a while. And with the lavender, or the, sorry, not lavender, although that will be blossoming shortly, in a couple months, with the lilacs blooming, I really wanted to work on something lilac-y. Probably should have put this piece down first. If I'm not on camera, I will be shortly. There. And I always prefer to have too much rather than too little when it comes to washi. Put that, come on, get off my finger. That's one of the reasons I started those was to, and I missed a spot. I didn't get that very close. I'm gonna try that again. There we go. All right. So that's one type of flap that you can very easily do with washi. And that'll go very nicely into the signature. I don't have the whole signature here. I'm still working on pieces of it. So let's take a look at other ways of doing this. Because, you know, flaps are fun. I love flaps because you can have all this extra writing space this was a leftover digital from the nature journal that I was working on, and I didn't use this particular image. Not sure why, just didn't seem to find a place for it in the... That was a terrible rip, ripping job. We'll fix that in a minute. I remember when I first started junk journaling and I saw a YouTuber grab a ruler and do this and I thought, oh wow, I haven't done that since I was a kid. Okay, so now what I want to do with this one is something a little bit more, I'm going to cut that in half-ish. Because I want to do smaller pieces. Smaller flaps and not necessarily the same size. Because I certainly didn't cut that in half very well. Okay, my thought was to put these pieces in, well, let's, let's see, I want that, maybe I want this one at the bottom. Okay, let's go ahead and even that up a little bit because that will drive me a little bit bonkers. because it's very badly done. Okay, so we're gonna put that one there. And then we're gonna put this one in. Let me level that one up. And I remember in grade school not being particularly good at the at this either. We'll put that one up. And then this one. And then this one. And what we're going to do is flap them all to this. Hang on. I'm going to line it up there. This side. And they're all going to open up individually. So because they're going to open up individually, I want to individually put them down. Now I could hinge them. But again, I'm going to uh, pause and go grab some washi, and I'm going to use some washi on this. Okay, I'm back, and this is some really pretty washi that I don't remember where I got, because I have a tendency just to get washi from about anywhere. So I'm looking to see about how much I need. Roughly there. I like this because it's a little bit wider. And we're going to just put a little bit of this on it. This particular journal is 
a, this is my junk journal journal, my literal junk journal journal. I am only putting into this particular journal pieces that are, I don't know, leftovers? Is that a good way to say it? This can only be leftover pieces that I have from other projects. Nope, definitely want it this way. And so there are no, nothing, what's the word? I, well, I don't want to say store-bought because obviously the washi is store-bought, but this is washi that I've had for a while. I'm not going out buying new washi for it. If I don't have what I need for it, I'm not using it. Does that make sense? So I'm really having fun with this particular journal. It does not yet have a cover, although I do have uh, a cover in mind. I know what I want to do for my cover. Okay, and I'm going to overlap that just a little bit. But I'm kind of lining up my washi all the way down. That's the goal anyway. Let's see if I can take that little lip off a little bit. So when you are playing around with your extra pieces and you don't know what to do with them, make them into a flap. This is just another way of using up some of your scraps. And you can create something brand new like I did in the other one. Or you can just start. There we go. And put something completely different down. Now this really is an experiment. I've never tried this before, so we'll see if this actually works. You're with me on an experimental day. But that's what Fabulous Friday is all about. It's trying new things. It's playing around. Saying, what can we make with this? And I had this scrap. So I figured, why the heck not? Oh, I didn't cut my edge there. And I'm going to want to. So before I put this one down, let me cut my edge. You probably were sitting there going, you didn't cut your edge. Okay, it has not yet solidified, which is good. I put the glue on there to help, help it from... Put that on there, and then we'll put this one right down here. So now it looks like a solid piece, but in fact, it flips out all the way. It worked! It did exactly what I wanted it to. And again, I'm not going to flap on the inside or put washi on the inside because that'll work just like that. All right, so we have this kind of a flap. And we have this kind of a flap. We've, we've, we've lined them up on one side and flapped them over. We've alternated and flapped them over. And like I said, it's really a type of waterfall. If I turn it the other way, it's a waterfall. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this. Make sure you're having a good time and playing. What I need to do on here, I have these out. I want to put one of these on. If, I will show, I will put a link too to how those were made because those were fun to make. All right, if you're enjoying this video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit like to let YouTube know that you like them. And then click the bell for notifications as to when the next video comes out. This is a short one this week, but I hope you're having a great time and on this fabulous Friday and have a great weekend. This is Cindy signing off.